Well, she's lost four of her children to cancer in the past 32 years. Now, Shirlene Egbert is facing her toughest battle yet after doctors discovered nine out of her 11 family members have a rare medical condition. This was taken when he was sick, and that's just like two months before he passed away. The pain of losing a child is all too real for Shirlene Egbert. She's experienced it four times. He was just 20 months old when we lost him. Her firstborn, Preston, was diagnosed with cancer at 17 months. At the time, doctors didn't know what caused it. They just kind of said, there's no way you'll ever have another one with cancer. That'd be just really odd, you know. In just three years, the family lost two baby boys. But it wasn't until their third son, who was diagnosed at 15, that they learned it was genetic. Some of her children were born without a second P53 gene. That's what helps your body fight off cancer. Charlene and her husband, Ken, decided to test the whole family for the Leifermini syndrome. Seven kids were tested, and of those seven, five had the syndrome. Including Michael. He was always loving his nieces and nephews. He just loved kids, and that's the kind of guy I, I grew to love. Michael's wife, Misha, gave birth to their son four months after he died from a brain tumor. I felt Mikey was there with me. I felt him like looking over my, my shoulder as he was looking, as I was looking right into our little baby's eyes. They spend a lot of time at grandma and grandpa's home, now more than ever. The closer it is together, it kind of brings back all the pain and memories. Shirlene's husband, Ken, has been fighting cancer for two years. How are you, honey? <laughs> he too has Leifermini syndrome. I had a little bit of a drink. Feel better. Ken is not expected yeah. to live much longer, but Shirlene says having family around is making his last days ones to remember. Grandpa's still here with us, right? Where is yeah. he going? Up in heaven. Talk about memories and videotape and things so we can remember fun times. Charlene's three-year-old grandson, Logan, was tested for the Leifermini syndrome. He, too, has it, but his mom says they are keeping proactive and will continue to take him to his normal checkups. Dave? Wow, we wish that group the very best.